Hello, yeah. Um, my name is Jason. Sorry I have a cold, so if I sound funny, that's my excuse. Um, here I got a 18F4620. Uh, just a bunch of wiring. I got a 4017 there, decade counter. Uh, I got a 2803 there. Uh, five transistors here. NPN. Um, just this is the best uh, mess. It's hard to for you know make this out really. I have one little five by seven matrix brick here. Little board I made it so I could connect it easier. Got my plug right here. Let me just set this up so you can see it good. Plug this in. And watch it come to life. Alright, as you can see the brightness is pretty good. Um the only thing is somebody somebody might complain that the speed might be a little bit too fast or too slow. Um as you can see here that button is just for test purposes. Um I have uh it's hard to make it out there. Uh, let's see. It's a little um, potential meter there. You can make it out. Uh, that's gonna allow me to control the speed. Have this long screwdriver here. Let's see how it goes. Um, I can slow it down just by turning it. Almost to a dead standstill. <laughs> Oh, I can speed it up little by little. Have it go wild, but you can't even notice what's going on. As you can see, I can speed it up or slow it down while it's actually scrolling. I see that's. So about here is a good speed. Or a little bit faster maybe. Right there. Let's try out that little button. To show some letters A, B, C. Let's see. And go right back to where I left off. You can have it set the speed and EEPROM this way when you unplug it, plug it back, speed is still recorded there. It's not connected to the picket, don't worry about that.